every name and every authority in heaven and earth and beneath the earth. That is the God you Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I look forward to having you every Sunday. Joining us on BRC is always a glorious time. Time is 6 p.m. every Sunday evening. That is Nigeria time. And if you're going to join us, you can join us on social media, Facebook, BRC Live. And on Time is coming. And now is the time when the true worshippers must worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For those are the kind of worshippers the Father seek. For God is spirit, and his worshippers must worship in spirit and in truth. So welcome to this wonderful episode of our Heart of Worship. Uh, we are glad to always have you on this program. This is where we discuss the depth of how worship is. What is worship to you? The scripture says God is searching for worshippers that will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Now, what kind of a worshipper are you? I always ask this question. Are you a worshipper that worship the Father in spirit and living the truth? Or are you a worshipper that worship the Father in truth and ignoring the spirit? For the Bible says you must worship the Father in spirit and in truth. The word of the Lord says God is searching. If we have a lot of worshippers that are worshipping in spirit and in truth, why will the Father still be searching? It shows clearly that there are worshippers but not worshipping in truth and in spirit. And the Lord is now calling out, searching to find that true worshipper. Have you been worshipping the Father in spirit and in truth? Have you been worshipping the Father in the right way? For the word of the Lord said, God is searching. And when God finds you as a true worshipper that worship in spirit and in truth, I don't know, if you search for something, it means that particular thing is very important to you. And the day you find it, you, you will so cherish it. You will do anything to make sure that that thing is being kept properly and taken care of. Now, if God finds you as a true worshipper, just imagine the glory that beholds God the Father, your Creator, finding you worthy as a true worshipper. Today we are here again to discuss the depth of worship. And I have a very wonderful person together with me in the studio today, whom we are going to discuss and see how God is going to open our eyes towards the dimension in the spirit to see how worship is. I want to urge you to now relax, just open up your heart, that you understand or God will reveal and open your eyes to see worship in another dimension. Please, we'll go on a short break. When we come back, I'll introduce you to the guest or the guest will introduce himself and we'll go deep and see what is worship and how should we worship the Father in spirit and in truth. But before we go for this short break, I will urge us to pray. Then we'll go for this break. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you for the privilege. We thank you for your love. We thank you for the opportunity you have given us to worship you through this program again. Father, I ask that at the course of this program, we shall have understanding. You shall open our eyes to the things we don't know. And Father, the blind eye shall see at the course of this program. Mm -hmm. You will open the eyes of the Spirit that we shall see and we shall hear. Deaf ears shall hear. Mm. Lord, we appreciate you. Yes. We give you all the glory because you're worthy to be praised. Yes, Lord. For we pray all this with thanksgiving mm. through your unfailing name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please don't go anywhere. We'll be back shortly. To worship another God, you are lifting your hand to worship the creator and the keeper of creation. You are lifting your hand to worship a God, a name that is above every other name. You are lifting your hand to worship a God whose authority is absolute. You are lifting up your hand to worship a God that is authority, for it be earthly authority. For God has If you are just joining us, this is Heart of Worship with Zinkat Wilfred. We are glad to have you join us on this program this evening. And I believe God so strongly that at the course of this program, we shall find solution to whatsoever we're searching for. God will use this program to glorify his name in our lives. I have with me a very wonderful personnel this evening. As I always do in this program, you know, I don't like introducing the guest myself. I like them to introduce themselves. So, sir, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. We are so glad to have you on this program. And me too. <laughs> so, I think it's wise you introduce yourself. Uh, my name is 
evangelist engineer, NLJ Oliver. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, I, I am an evangelist and I uh, am a gospel artist as well. Mm -hmm. uh, because in 2018, yeah. I have an encounter with Christ. Okay. Where from that day, I was, I was deeply in the world. Mm. I was not born again then. Many years ago, but in the middle of the night, I have an encounter with God where He revealed Himself to me personally. And right from that day, mm. I, I, after praying, I used to hear songs. Mm. Then even in the dreams, I hear songs. But they come to minister to me, and as I wake up immediately, I put those songs down. Oh, that's nice. And I enter the studio with it. Mm. That is what betted an album I produced, The Encounter. Mm. It speaks of my personal encounter with Christ. Mm. And to all other people who have gotten an encounter with Christ, Jesus when you listen to that song, you will know that this song is from an encounter. Mm. And it ministers. Wonderful. I'm glad you, you say and it, it, it's, it's been better at the place of encounter. Because there are so, a lot of believers or followers of, of believers that are, uh, I don't think, so let me say, the encounter, they don't understand the encounter, mm, yes. the, the aspect of the encounter with them and God. Yes. Because the place of encounter with God is, is very, very important as a believer. Yes. Because it, there, at that point, is where you have, you, you have the personal relationship. With God. It's not in a, a relationship that is being built through inheritance like yes. you just grew up in a, in a in a in a family of believers and you see your parents probably going to the garden yes. of believers yes. and yes. you inherit it this is a, an, an encounter between yes. you and the father yes. we are glad to have you sir personal conviction that's very very yes. powerful so, just like i saw myself in a revelation I, it was in a dark place i was trying to come out i could not i was trying to come out i could not then a man just came in my front and he burst the door open. As I came out from the door, he was leading me outside and there was light everywhere. So I saw myself singing and preaching. Then people who were in the waters were coming out. People who were lame were coming out. People were, 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 were being raised. People who were dead were being cocked. So I woke up with such power and authority. From that day, I can discern between wrong and right. Wow. It's what when you do something that is not right, your spirit keeps hitting you. You mm. must, you, you must come back to the fold, the place of encounter. No one have an encounter with the Lord, and his life will remain the same, mm. because you can't just meet the Lord Jesus Christ and your life will remain the same. You know, at the place of his encounter, he has achieved or he has now been blessed with the spirit of discernment he's been blessed with music with songs to write songs and to sing them you know have you had an encounter with the lord jesus christ have you encountered the father are you a believer by inheritance or by personal encounter we we'll actually come to that point also but before then i by way of starting the program you heard me talk about worship yes sir i want to I want us to you, you to maybe tell us how do you see worship in your own perspective? God bless you, sir. Yeah. That topic is a, very, is, a, is a very great topic mm -hmm. and it's very essential in our world of today. You, you from the scripture, you said, the, is it, Search the Father's secret. Yes. You know, true worshippers are them that worship Him in the spirit and in the truth. Such one, the Father's secret. Mm -hmm. Sir, there are people who are looking for God. And there are people who God is looking for. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, so yeah. can you imagine when God is looking for some for for somebody? He has searched the heart. Mm. He knows this one. This one is a true worshiper, and he looks for you and brings you out. So there are some people in the world today who are in the world committing sins, proud to where they find themselves. Can you imagine somebody who maybe? His father is an, is an armed robber. He has been seen armed robbery, living with armed robbery. So he thought that might be the right thing, but in his heart, how can I live this life? You see, one day God will just pick that one out from nowhere. Reveal himself and give him a personal encounter. Hmm. Yes. Worship. Worship. People, yes. People see, when people sing, 
people sing, everybody is, is worshipping hand in the, in the church, raising hand. It's not everybody God is accepting his worship. Hmm. Through worship, Cain sacrificed, Abel sacrificed, hmm. they worshipped. But did God accept the one of Cain? Abel was a true worshipper. Hmm. So even in church today, all, all, all of us go to church, lift up holy hands. But all are not true worshippers there. So, so God is answering those ones who are his own. Who are worshipping him from in the spirit. Somebody cannot, somebody cannot believe you right with God and is praising God. You are not a true worshipper. Such one is incest will not rise up to heaven. Jesus. God cannot accept such faith because well, you are not living right. Hmm. So he you're accept. Not, you're not living right. Yes, you can be singing a song, singing a song, things are happening, but God might not be there. You know, there, there, there are two things you, you, you said that I want to actually drive from there. Yes, sir. The one you said, living right is part of the, is, is, is the worship also. Yes. And um, the, the, the place you, you spoke about, uh, uh, offering. Yes. So it, it shows clearly worship is not about singing. <coughs> worship is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. The way you live out of the gathering of believers, yes. you can worship wherever you are. Yes. That means if I am in the plane, I can worship there. You can worship there. In the, in the bathroom, I can still worship. You can worship there. It mustn't be through singing. Yes. It can just be me giving. It's also worship. It's also worship. Viewers, we, we have seen very clearly that worship is a lifestyle. Worship is not the time you declare in it's the special, gathering of yeah. believers. Yes, special times. Okay, let's be after. Singing. And like we always say in the gathering of believers, uh, yes. let's be in the mode of worship. <laughs> so that's the conception, yes. <laughs> that's the, mis the misconception we always have. Yeah. Then I, I used to ask the question, if you say, now let's be in the mood of worship. What, what were we doing? What have we been doing before that particular time? Mm. So does that mean that after that time we can be out of worship? Does that mean that we're going to be out of worship? So we're at all times. At all times. Now we have a scripture that uh, I, I want us to see in, in Matthew chapter 22, Matthew 22, uh, 37. Mm. It says, Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. Mm. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. As yourself. Mm. That's the scripture on the screen. Jesus said to him, Now, please, what do you make out of this? If we say worship mm. is a lifestyle, mm. what can you make out of this? Okay, now. The Bible says you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, yes. with all your soul, mm. and with all your mind. Your mind. Mm. This is the first and the great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The loving the Lord your God as you, Now, there's a word that is said. There's a word that is like this. That if you want to respect me, do what I ask you to do. Hmm. Like you have a subordinate who you you give him a place to manage for you. And you give him, you, you told him, let this be like this. Then you come, you see him do another thing. So if you love somebody, you will respect the person hmm. and you fear him. So some so human being cannot be going away from the will of God. I'll be claiming you love God. Hmm. From the Ten Commandments in the days of Moses, the Bible says, I, says, I will write their, my, my law in their hearts. In their hearts. Heart. Heart. This is the time. In their hearts. Hmm. So, the proof of love to God is obeying Him. Hmm. Yes, it's obeying Him. That is when you love Him with your heart, with your soul. You see your neighbor, just like Jesus Christ told them, the father, they say, they, 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 they say, who is our neighbor? And I'm giving them an instance, a man who, who, who was going somewhere and he fell on the floor. They just passed him. They passed their neighbor. Hmm. Someone in need. Someone in need. And sir, in our world today, 
this is the end time. I keep telling people about this. There are so many motivational words and motivational speaking that is inside the place of believers today. Mm. People get carried away by motivational talks. Mm. Motivational talks might not be the word of God. The Bible is not to motivate you, it's to give you what God wants to tell you. The Bible says a time will come where men will be lovers of themselves. This is in our time now. In our, this is in our period that we have. People are carried away by motivational talk. Some, some, some people who are leaders, like in a, in a place where, where people are, are, are gathered to preach the gospel, they, 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 they tend to go and arrange some words to, to suit the people that are listening to you mm-hmm. and ignore the word of God. For God will help us on that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's one challenge we are facing in this our world today. Amen. You know, the, the first part of the passage mm. is talking about you loving God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Mm. But the second phase of it is talking about mm. your, your love with your neighbor. Mm. That's the, the horizontal relationship. Mm. That means it's, it's two ways. Mm. You love God and you show it forth by mm. the way you relate with your neighbor. Mm. Now, worship can be seen by the way you relate with your neighbor. With your neighbor. Yes. Oh, yes. So, sir, mm. I want us to see this 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 way also. Okay. Um, uh, Proverbs chapter uh, five verse twenty three says, "Trust in the Lord with all your heart." Proverbs chapter three verse five and six mm. say, "Trust in the Lord with all your heart and depend not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your path." Now, linking that with where we have already read, mm. what can you see? The similarity or linking to worship, what we're discussing, the topic of worship this evening. Okay, just like what this scripture just said now. Yes. See, there is a way that seems right to a man, yes. but ends is destruction. Like on our own human being, we have our own way that thinks that in doing a particular thing, it is right in our own eyes. But God has a way and he has a pattern of he has a plan of it. In those days, in the Bible, the scriptures where uh, a son is to die. You know, um, Manasseh, eh, Ezekiah, that uh, what God told the prophet, he said, go and meet Ezekiah, tell him that he's going, he's going to die. He was praying. He was praying. Oh, God. He, he sent the prophet, to, he, he sent the uh, he, he sent a, a, a message, he was praying, he was praying. Then God said, okay, Ezekiah, go and tell him, for the prophet, that I added 15 years to his age. Mm. That was it. God has seen that the, 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 the king that will rise from, this, from Ezekiah will be, will be very, very, will, very, will not be good at all. Mm. That was the period he gave out to Manasseh. And Manasseh, if Ezekiah should wake up today, and they tell him what Manasseh did as his son, it was one of the worst. He brought idols. Mm. He brought idols to, the, to, to Israel. He teach them the ways of what God did not plan. And God was not happy. You are seeing it now. Mm. So, God knows that Ezekiah live now. If you should live more than this, the child that is coming through you, the nurse, will bring, will, that son will do what I will not like. Mm. But no, man prevailed. Man prevails, praying, but God answered. Mm. But God answered that prayer for him to live 15 years. Mm. But what came yeah. out for me is not good. What did Jesus Christ say? He was praying. He was praying. He knows what he wanted to face on the, on the cross of, uh, of, of Calvary. What happened? He knows. But Father, if this is your will, he said, I wish that I will not pass through this pain. Mm. But let your it's own clear. will no, be done. Will be Why? He has been with the Father. Man can go through a little pain, but God knows that God's way is the best of all. Mm. Yes. He told uh, the, the Peter, he said, Who do people say that I am? Some, some of them say that you are, you are Elijah. Some say you are John the Baptist. Some say you are, you are, you are Isaiah. He said, Who do you yourself you say, say that I am? I am. I'm going somewhere on that, on that point. He said, who do you, you yourself say I am? Hmm. He said, ah, you are the son of, of, of the living God. 
to the king of kings, the Lord of the Jesus said, Flesh and blood have not revealed that to you, but my Father, who is what in heaven. He didn't end there. He said, Upon this revelation, upon this spirit that spoke to you, upon this 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 word, upon that spirit that gave you the utterance, I built my church. Sir, we are the living church of God. You, me, everybody, we are the living church. Oh, God. It is we humans who go to heaven, proud to our worship, our, our loving our, our Lord God with all our hearts, hmm. and not a building hmm. that we decorate to be. It's good to decorate it, but decorate let, 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 let me hold you there. <laughs> we'll come back to this. I want yes. us to go on a short break, okay. and when we return, we, we will go directly <laughs> to, to this particular point. Thank you. Please sir. don't go away. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> Ooh, 
so very high above all God. Under the air. Come back. If you're just joining us, this is Heart of Worship with Zinkat Wilfred. And um, I have with me Evangelist Levy here. And we've been so discussing about how the faithfulness of God through worship and how to worship God the right way. And he's been raising some very wonderful points before then I stopped him for the break. So I, I would like you to, to continue from that point where we're discussing uh, trusting in the Lord and you were giving us the illustration of Peter. I, I really want you to, to dive in properly from, from that angle. Okay. Yes. Okay, now, on that part, where Christ told him and said, upon this spirit, mm -hmm. upon this revelation, you have spoken with, I will build my church. So, I will build my church, that which will be the spirit of God, it is a living church in us. Hmm. So he's talking about a personal church. Hmm. Peter got a personal encounter. So he spoke from that experience. Hmm. So all those one, people who are saying, he's, he's, he's Moses, he's Elijah, they don't have an encounter with him. Hmm. So they didn't know who is the real person. But he knew. Hmm. So God gives us uh, experience based on our own revelation we got we, we have with Him. Yes, that's it. Wow, I I I, I I've seen so much about uh, how people worship God or 
the, the scripture said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. That in all your ways, not some of the ways, all, all your ways, acknowledge Him. And you are talking about the, the church as a person. We are still mm -hmm. bouncing back to worship as a lifestyle. A lifestyle. As a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. If I am the church and worship is a lifestyle, then in the office, when you come with corruption, I should remember that I am the whole church of God mm -hmm. and I should not inflate the, the contract. Yes. Then if I know that I am a moving, in fact, one, on one of our programs, someone says we are mobile worshippers. Mm. That mobile worshippers, wherever we are, worship is being read. Is read. Mm. In fact, I have one of the quotes uh, that, 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 that someone said mm. in... in he said, living for God, Rick Warren wrote this, mm -hmm. he said, living for God, for God's glory, is the greatest achievement we can accomplish with our lives. Yes. Living for God's glory is the greatest achievement we can accomplish with our lives. Mm -hmm. That means it's our lives that we use to give God the glory. Mm. But, you know, we, 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 we have a way of um, uh, changing the narratives right now. Mm. Instead of using our life to give God the glory, it's like we're using God to glorify our lives. Mm. That's why we come back to mm. always asking God for things to do for us mm. instead of us using our life for His purpose his purpose mm. now please what can you say more to to this particular okay now uh, sometimes the bible says uh, our god uh, god is not like our earthly father mm -hmm. like god loves us more he, he will not give you stone as bread mm. or let us make as what as fish Sir, he knows our he knows our needs, and the truth is that the truth is that eh, God has answered majority of our prayers, but we keep bothering him on what he has done already. Hmm. The Bible says, "Blessed be the Lord who daily loads us with what benefits." Hmm. Daily. The blessings are there. Sometimes we pray and miss, sir. Mm. Christians pray and miss. We pray for what you shouldn't be praying about. Let me give you an instance. In Nigeria as a whole, eh? God has given us crude oil, bitumen. If you go to, to, uh, to, to the farm, so you see things that God has given us for we to use it on ourselves and be productive for ourselves hmm. the issue now is not even about god it's about people who are wicked who have who will not use these things for other people let me give you an instance we elected leaders for ourselves right hmm. and these ones are there to do to do major things for the nation yes. provide jobs use your money to produce crude oil bring it let it to be in the world for people to have employment with god has done his own part hmm. it's human being me and you who are not living our lives living our lives in the way of god to help others just like what you said now hmm. in the scripture yes. love your neighbor as yourself who yes. that one who have not loving their neighbor as yourself who hold these things hmm. so other people who should benefit from what you should reproduce for people to have jobs, things you are not doing. That's why some people are suffering. Hmm. That's why people are suffering. Now, Rick Warren really, <laughs> Rick Warren actually saw this. Yeah. That's why he said, "Living for God's glory mm. is the greatest achievement we can accomplish yes. with our lives." Look at Paul the Apostle. He, Paul was a man that when he was walking like this, people were looking at people. Were, people were, he was a, he was in the way of the world when he was in the other part. He was a great man. Hmm. Philippians 3 3 say all things that were gained to me, I consider them nothing. Hmm. That I may gain what? To know him more. 
That is what he seek, that is that is his desire. He is an example of a man who used his life for the for for the, for, the, for the, he, he Paul was going a prophet bound the hands of Paul and said this man who I bound his arm is going to be persecuted in the world in uh, in, in, in in another land. His followers held him and said, No, you are not going there. He said, That place is where I'm going. Hmm. Why? What we quoted, he, he knows that it's not his own will, but the will of God. Hmm. He's going in the will of God for him is to be persecuted and be flogged. Dude. He said, I'm going there. Hmm. Because just he wants to use his life for the glory of God. Yes. There was a man, Charles G. Finney, you have uh, yes, about Charles yes, G. Finney, yes, yes. who will walk into a factory where people are not ready <laughs> to be born again. You know, when somebody goes to a place to work in the morning, a man just came to the place. You start crying for your sins. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, in fact, Rick Warren still go further in one of his quotes again. Uh, he said, when you use your life for God's glory, everything you do can become an act of worship. When you use your life for God's glory, everything you do can become an act mm, of worship. Mm. People can look at you. Your lifestyle can preach to other people. Can preach. That's the idea. In mm. fact, where the foundation of us having the name Christians was by the observation of those who are not believers Bob at all. But they say these people live their life like Christ. Like Christ. Their lifestyle mm. imit like emulates that of Christ. Christ. That's why they give the name Christ like. Mm. But now in our society now you you wonder sometimes by the way we talk, mm. the way we dress, the way we do in our offices, mm. the way we, 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 we discuss, the way we do business, the way we do everything, mm. you will be shocked to, 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 because you can't see that behavior, that character, mm. that Christ-likeness mm. again is not being seen mm. in amongst us. The, 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 the love is not, there. not there again. One, one of our guests on one of our episodes here, he said on a day like this, you, if you move around town, you see a lot of parking lots. People are mm. gathered in different worship centers, uh, having to fellowship. The fellowship. Mm. It's expected that all the things we have gathered there, we should come, come out, come out and show it forth. <laughs> but you say on Monday, Tuesday, you search for those same people. Mm. You, you can't find. It's as if those people have vanished. My brother. Why is it so? Their, mm. their behaviors cannot reflect Let. those same people you are that were gathering and, and, and worshiping God with the same hands you use to worship God. You use that same hand to just set somebody up mm. to, to, to be fired. Mm. With that same mouth you, you gossip about. Yes, you kill somebody with the same mouth. The same mouth. Destroy your neighbor with the same mouth. Sir. So you, 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 you said something in the, at the beginning of the program mm. about how God gave you the songs and I want to, you, you have, we have a song of yours that I, want, I would like us to play now. Mm. I want you to tell us how that song came and the message behind that particular song. Okay. It's a song I got from an encounter with Christ in the middle of the night. I saw in I saw three mm. three the same people. They were the same. The same people. Yes, they three were the them. same, three of them. And they were playing piano. Okay. And they were singing this song. Wow. Something was just it's like in a church setting. Mm. And in that in that as I was in that revelation, the three people came to my my understanding. Mm. God the Father, the Son, mm. and the Holy mm. Spirit. So my experience of what I was feeling was now bringing now the other part of the song. Mm. Many years ago, I was wandering in the dark. Oh, 
I was really I, in the world before. Before, before, you, before you even go that part, uh, so what, what does that Om Omriyatata Osim mean? Is Osim is a fountain that never runs dry. Hmm. God fountain. himself is a fountain that can never run dry. He gives you... Since that encounter, my life changed. My life changed physically, financially. The, the revelation from the song yes. changed your personal my life. My personal life, my life with God, my ministry, my financial, my pocket hmm. to do more. So now the, the benefit of that song is not actually to all just the listeners now, but it started with you. Yes. I will tell you something. So I don't have anything then. Yes, I, I stopped my job 2015. People who are this is the world, this is world now. Hmm. 2015, I was working, I, I purposely stopped it. I stopped the job. Because I had God clearly. I stopped the job. So I was I don't have anything. Then God told me, He said, go and be doing track for people to be to be go and be doing track for people. Hmm. Right. The word of God, as in go yes. and give the I don't know what that people who has who has given the word, they don't know what they are doing again, as they are putting money in front. Like he said, he has caught people, but they are not putting money in front. Hmm. It's not Christ. See, I Christ, good. There's money and there's Christ too. Yes. If yes. you want to, if people want to preach, they preach Christ. You can still have that money. And still go to hell. Every, I still, still go to heaven also. Hmm. But Christ is who the is the mercy now. The money has been there before. Before there, there was money before, as in before Christ came to die for our sins, money was there now. Hmm. So it can't save. It can't save. Yeah, so it can't it save. Couldn't save. It, it, so it can't, couldn't save. And it can't even save. It can't even save. So it is Christ that came that saved. It should be the message. Hmm. So many people had, uh, have changed this narrative. So he said, go, write the chart. Go and do it. There was no money there, but I believe in that word, that voice. As I took it on myself to start doing it, I had that revelation. 12 in the midnight. Hmm. 2018, October 18. I can't forget the date. What actually captured my heart is, is the fact that I, by you listening to or accepting the revelation of that song, Mm. It had an impact on you, mm. not just for you to sing to others, but mm. on yourself. Yes, the song had an impact. Please, I think let's benefit from the song also. Oh, she made me a 
that never try You are the ancient of Jesus Papa, oh father, but I will Then let me let me change I felt this so happy That passed all understanding Papa, this type of peace This world cannot give Right from that day that did I can discern come from right to Papa, your spirit in me is more good. It bears me witness, Papa, that you are fooling with me. Papa, your spirit in me is more than good. Papa, she Thank you. 